Okay, so we're going to look at the tempo map, getting that done, and then exporting the tracks for the mixer. So I've got the tempo map up there. What I'm going to do is delete it and show you how to do it from scratch. So the first thing you want to do is create a new track, Control T. Let's move it up the top, name it. So we've got our tempo map. I'll just color it back to pink just so it's easy to see. We'll enlarge it a bit. And what we're going to do is on this, let's make sure we're right at the very beginning and we're going to insert click source. And then we can just stretch it. And basically what this does is just keep track of tempos and markers. That's right at the end of the track, I think. Let's double check. It's just going to go over a little bit more. That's it. So we've got markers on the top and we've got the tempo here. Now your song might have lots of different tempos and it's going to keep track of all that and the time signatures as well, which is really cool. So all you've got to do after that is just go over here right to the end just go to insert and put in a new midi item and what you want to do is just click anywhere and just set up a midi note now i'm just going off the glenn fricker video and apparently according to him if we don't do this it's not going to want to export it as a midi so it's no good to us then so we'll at home now we'll select that track and what we're going to want to do is export that project MIDI. Just make sure you've got entire project, uh, selected tracks only, and you want embed project tempo time signature changes, and you also want export project markers as MIDI. And if we just click where we're going to copy it to, over here, I'll just replace this one. This was the one that was already there. There we go. And click OK. Overwrite it. And we're good. So that's our tempo map done. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to export the tracks. Now, before when I was doing this, this is something just to be careful of. Sometimes when I'm mucking around with the tracks, I'll loop a certain region. So just make sure you've got that unselected. So you're right back home, nothing selected in there. And then what we want to do is just all our tracks, in my case, not that many. We've got bass, two acoustics. Uh, we've got rhythm guitars four of those and a couple of lead guitars and then we've got a cello and some female vocals what we're going to do then is go to file actually a quicker way to do it is just Control alt r so export i think through the menu there's a render option yeah that's it one thing to look out for here is in the file name if you go into wildcards project in, project information you want to select uh, track and so that'll name all your tracks separately Sample rate, 44, 100, and mono. And I think that's about it. The only th the last thing to make sure is make sure it's selected track stems. In my case, it's just under master mix. And if we render all those, we'll just make sure we'll, before I put this on desktop, I'm going to change that. Browse for directory. Uh, I want to go into downloads, tutorial demo. And that'll throw them straight in there. We render those 11 files. And also when rendering, something I forgot to mention too. Yeah, I haven't done that. So I've got time selection. So let's do it again. I've cut the previous bit out that I did before, but just make sure that's entire project and that'll do everything. Go to 11 files. And we're going to overwrite these. Okay, so everything's been rendered. Now if we open up our new project, and then what we're going to do is uh, import this stuff. So go back into our folder, bring in the tempo map, MIDI file import, and we've got the map at, actually, let's bring that back. Just make sure we're at home. I hate when that happens. 
So make sure the cursor is right back at the beginning. Yeah, bring it in right there. That should put it right in the beginning. There we go. So you'll notice now we've got our tempo and time signature. In my case, just the same all the way throughout. If you've got different ones, they'll show up throughout the track. Just zoom in a little bit and you can see all our markers are in place. So when we import these tracks, everything should fall into place like it was in the project we were doing. So there's all our tracks. And we just drag them in. And you want to do those as separate tracks. I think in this case they're going to be alphabetical, but it, as Scott recommends, you can rename them with the numbers in a numerical order, and they will uh, go into the order set by the by the numbers. And basically, that's it. All of the information and stuff is right there. Everything's in where it needs to be, and you're good to go.